Hello there, Genshin Impact has so many good and make characters. In this video, I will tell you the best characters for each element. Let's start with the first element, the Pyro. And our best characters is Hu Tao. With Pulam on her side, Hu Tao sweep enemies dealing massive amount of Pyro damage with her elemental skill, sending them off with her large elemental press. She's one of the best characters at clearing heart of enemy instantly. And the second best Pyro is Yuimiya. Yuimiya can dash a ton of damage very quickly thanks to her elemental skill, boosting the attack of her team once they pop the pyro mark for some big reactions. Now these are the best two of the pyro element. Let's go to the cryo element. The first best character is Ganyu. She has a very powerful elemental press that when combo with her hydro or animo can wipe a horde of enemies without breaking a sweat before she can get back to her other business. And the second is Ayaka. The third user is quite unique in game too. She has an alternate sprint animation which allow her to freeze the ground underneath her, popping up to dash through the enemies with her quick attacks. And the third element we have the Geo element. And in this element we have Ito. There is no doubt that he would be the best on this list. His brust allow him to convert his defense to attack, allowing him to do significant Geo damage during this duration. And the second character is our favorite Zhang Li. Zhang Li is one of the most versatile Geo character in Genshin Impact. In fact, this 5 star unit is used in every meta team. And this is because of his elemental skill, which causes nearby Geo energy to explode in wide area. And in the Hydro element, we have three characters. The first one is Child. His abilities enable quick transition from ranged bow attacks to swift sword slices, allowing players to constantly ship away at their foes. While this highly skilled competent doesn't have any healing abilities. And the third character is Ayato. He shines as both Hydro DBS, handing out some of the highest damage in the game and as a support due to the frequency of his Hydro application. Now let's go to the Electro element. The best tool in this element is Miko. She can set up totems before hailing down to the power of the gas to emit a massive lightning strike. She can also quickly apply Electro and charge other units energy up. And the best second character is Raiden Shogun. Raiden Shogun is one of the best in Genshin Impact, chaining together huge amounts of Electro damage while also puffing her allies. She can also recharge huge amount of electro as battery of other allies thanks to her own elemental press. And the last element is the dendro element. And our character Z is Al Haytham. As on field DBS, Al Haytham is perfectly suited for puffing his damage and staying active while in the field. His off-field dendro application or utility is non-existent, making this character only ideal for players who are looking for dendro characters. To remain on the field for extended periods of time. Al Haytham is an excellent option for players looking for on field DBS. And the last character in this video is Nahida. Her elemental press is very powerful tool for buffing her and her team's damage output, making it one of the best elemental press in the game. All of these aspects combined make Nahida the best dendro user in Genshin Impact. Now this is the end of the video, thank you for watching till the end and please tell me in the comments if you agree with my list or no. See you in the next one, bye guys.